it seems that a lot of people in Nebraska don't know about Camelina, even within the university. And I, part of my mission is sort of to educate people about Camelina and about its, uh, I think, its uh, usefulness for Western Nebraska. It involves uh, educating the upper administration in the university uh, and maybe getting out and uh, showing farmers that uh, there is some utility, that there could be some value for them to grow camelina. Camelina is an oilseed crop that's uh, a member of the mustard family. So it's uh, related to uh, canola, which is already a major oilseed crop, particularly in, in Canada and in Europe. So soybean is the uh, number one oilseed crop in the United States, the number two oilseed crop in the world. But uh, it is kind of, its growth is kind of restricted to certain areas like uh, to the great, to, excuse me, to the Midwest, like uh, Iowa, Indiana, Eastern Nebraska. It doesn't grow very well in the Great Plains of the United States because the soil fertility is not very good. The uh, rainfall is too low to really support a good soybean crop. So Camelina can grow in these areas, these marginal areas where you can't grow soybean, which is pretty much in the Great Plains like Montana, uh, Western Nebraska, maybe parts of Colorado. So it's a, a low input crop that can grow really well on uh, marginal land that wouldn't compete with soybean, a food crop. So you're not really competing for the same land where you grow this high value crop like soybean. So you can use this marginal land uh, for camelina and its oil content is uh, fairly high. So it, about 30 to 40% of the seed weight of camelina's oil, vegetable oil. And vegetable oil can be used as a biodiesel source. I'm trying to make a, a, a novel type of oil called a wax ester in camelina that's similar to what sperm whales made, make. And this uh, is a very good uh, oil for high temperature lubricants. The problem with sperm whales is that you can't hunt them anymore. There used to be a big market uh, for the oils from a sperm whale for uh, lubrication applications. And uh, so we're trying to make the same type of oils in camelina. So with camelina in the United States, it's uh, not used for food. So you don't really have this concern about mixing this uh, engineered camelina for biofuel purposes, biolubricant pur purposes with uh, food, uh, food camelina, food use camelina. It's my hope that uh, for Nebraska that camelina could be uh, some alternative or additional crop for the western part of the state. And the west, uh, we're somewhat limited to cattle ranching, wheat production, dry bean production, and some millet. But this might add an, another uh, crop for farmers to uh, get some additional income from. And it could potentially be used as a rotation with some other crops that are already grown in Nebraska, like wheat. Uh, so I hope that it could be uh, just a, a, an additional source of agricultural income that's really targeted for the western part of the state and not for the eastern part where uh, farmers are already making uh, quite a bit of money from uh, soybean and corn production.